everybody, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I am Paranormal Witness Girl. And today is Tuesday, February the 7th, 2023. The time is 1.28 p.m. Eastern Time. And the weather is 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, welcome back. Uh, welcome if you're new to my channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I usually do videos me driving to different places in the city of Fort Lauderdale and in Broward County. So today the plan is I am going to the city of David, Florida to a plaza where they have a bunch of stores. I need to buy a few things so I thought just bring you guys along with me and you guys can um, you know just spend time with me and then we can talk about you know random stuff and you can have a awesome view of what a random local South Floridian do on their time off or, or working whatever the situation um, so yeah we right now we are in Holly Drive which is an inner road in the community of Woodland um, in the city of Tamarack and this street that we're gonna make a ride is Rock Island Road I usually take the highway um, to go to this plaza in the David Floyd that I'm talking about but for the purpose of this video so you guys can have a better a different view from all the routes that I usually take I thought might as well just go from you know a different route that you know you can usually get there that that you know far away and you have another a different perspective different view from you know local um, roads local streets um, this is the city of Lauder Hill This next road where we're gonna make a ride is uh, well, this is where Rokaila ends at the end of the street, and then we have to either make a left or right, and it's Oakland Park Boulevard. You might be familiar with this. We've done we've taken this road before. Uh, we went to Sawgrass Mint Mall from Lauderdale by the sea, which is you know for Lauderdale Beach. Um, so this time we're gonna take west, which is going right, uh, because we're gonna make a left on University Drive, another major road. And from there, we're gonna go all, we just drive straight all the way to, um, I don't remember the name of the street. Cause it's just like an inner random street. But it's, yeah, it's a couple miles, around five miles. And we're gonna be telling you, you know, as we go. So you guys can have a pretty good view, understanding of, you know, the road, the inner roads that usually not touristy areas. This is like, you know, how locals leave. So yeah, um, so I thought about just giving you a glimpse of how you know local life is. Um, the kind of orangey building on the right, that's the city hall of the city of Lauder Hill, like I was mentioning. Um, this city, it's okay, but it has its beats, like everybody has their own opinion. They has, you know, some, unfortunately there's a lot of areas they're not so great so Lauder Hill sometimes is known to having you know areas and streets that are not very um how can I put this 
uh, safe. Yeah, it's not safe. If you hear a noise, it's because I am um, unpacking um, what's it called? an air freshener. I bought these. Um, I don't know where I bought them. So it's clean lining. So like I mentioned in my other videos, I have this game that I play with. <laughs> <laughs> with just me um, that I usually when I'm not driving or I'm on a red light just emphasis on that if any cop is watching I do not do this while I'm driving but I like to check plates from different states and countries um, as you know South Florida everybody right now it's living a nightmare like snowstorms and all I get it so we have a lot of visitors and tourism right now right now it's um, snowbird season which is a lot of our neighbors from Canada are residing here for the winter so I do like to count how many plates I get uh, so if you want to play that game with me sure go ahead and let me know in the comments uh, what place you catch while I'm driving I would definitely not do that <laughs> I mean every watch this video you know once I post it in YouTube and just start looking by myself you know how many places I did not catch while I was driving but yeah so I usually um I also the majority of the places that I count so I see either like from Quebec Ontario I have British Columbia yesterday I have a lot of plates from Minnesota which is that's about a long way from Minnesota um and then I got what is it what was it? oh New York New York is like common right like, it's like what like looking at a Florida plate so it's not surprising anymore <laughs> Um, what else? Yeah, I see it from all over the place, with the exception that I have not seen in a while, uh, the plates from Hawaii or Alaska. So I'm really looking forward to catch one of those uh, plates in South Florida. So let me know if you come across one of them while I'm driving and you're watching this video. And, you know, it should be fun. Well, the next signal is Inverati Boulevard, which is another inner um, street within the city of Hollywood. I mean, Hollywood. Um, <laughs> I mean, yesterday, um, Lauder Hill, Tamarack, Sunrise. Yeah, that um, street collides with a lot of uh, small cities around in this area. Again, it's all considered a um, great area for Lauderdale, Broward County. For those who are wondering and just are familiar with Miami, we are 40 to 45 minutes away from Miami. We are not part of Miami-Dade County. We are not part of anything related to Miami. We are different or separate, <laughs> uh, but yeah. And if we go north, 40 miles up north, we gonna be in West Palm Beach. Oh, that's, that's, that's a really delicious smell. I love it. Ooh, smells good. Yum. Why do they make this air freshener so yummy and delicious? And then like two days later, it doesn't smell like anything. Do they like marinate them <laughs> like a piece of meat? Okay, so now we're entering the city of Sunrise. We've been to this uh, city before, uh, but I think in a different boat. No, actually we did be. Alcon Park, but we made a left in Pan Island, which is like a couple miles ahead of us, so we never really came this route. But this is City of um, Sunrise. Let me speed up a little bit so we can catch this green light. I mean, it's still yellow, I can still do a left as long as I don't. Yep, I'm good. I'm going to the left. All right, so now we are in University Drive. Like I mentioned before, this uh, major road or street, avenue, avenue whatever you want to call it. It's very, one of the most important ones because you can go all the way to West Palm Beach and all the way to uh, Miami uh, if you just take this road, whether you go north or south. Now, right now, we're heading south, but we're not going to Miami. It's just like, you know, to let you know how this, you know, um, road works. Don't do that when you come to Florida. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> uh, those are my mini rants of the day drivers in Florida. I'm, I mean, I live in here all my life and I'm still not used to it. Though. Yeah. Oh, I just spied a new Quebec plate with the red car on the right side. Though.
you have so many little plazas where there's so many shops um that's how we usually you know buy our groceries or you know we just go to shopping so um we do have like huge malls but at the same time we have you know we live plaza by plaza i guess um i know where we go in this plaza that we go in i think it's david something something i've been to this plaza so many times like a hundred over a hundred times i can't remember the name it's the thing like you don't really <laughs> notice the name until you have to actually explain it on a video and it's like oh crap what was the name of the plaza i just know how to get there um what stores were in the plaza hmm they have home depot they have tj maxx they have claire's they have the dw something shoes they have old navy they have ross dress for less i love the store um they have a plus size uh, store i don't remember the name i think it's something with bryant um they have michael's they have ultra i love ultra uh, they have office depot what else they have yeah, I think that's about it. And there's a bunch of like, um, oh, they have Trade Joe's and they also have Costco. Yeah, and a bunch of like restaurants. Um, I was actually looking for a Hawaiian place where I can get misubi because I never tried one other than I made it myself. But I just wanted to try because I'm very obsessed with Hawaii. <laughs> so yeah, they don't, it, the near one, it's in Coral Springs. And I was like, I don't want to drive all the way there. Um, the next signal, the one we just passed actually was Sunrise Boulevard. We've done that road before. Um, this one, it's uh, not a Marcana Boulevard, another Indian Street. So just go within this area of. Uh, actually, this is the city of Plantation now. So as you can see, it's a bunch of little cities that are you know part of the city of Fort Lauderdale, great area.
drink a bit of water because I am thirsty. I have so many ideas of videos that I want to do, but I'm not sure because I don't know if they're going to look boring. I mean, I done this you know routes before but for me it's like normal just going out and about in my day but i thought that you know i should just be to record them just for like a memory for me like documenting um me narrating about my city and then you know a couple of years i can just go back and look at them like oh look how this used to look blah blah and also for you guys if anybody's watching you know thank you again um you know so you can see how's the life of a south floridian you know when you're not in touristy areas because that's what i'm fascinated when i look for videos from like so toronto hawaii i like to see how locals live not just the touristy area where everything is perfect you know that's pretty places and you know i just want to see what is the day like of a regular person who lives in that place you know what are the the, the most common places the the frequent so i think that topic is very fascinating to me i don't know if it's to you so if it is i will you know try definitely to do more videos about those topics i mean yeah topics and just places to be going um this is the foundlings the fountain is like a plus adjacent, adjacent to brower mall where there's a bunch of restaurants like the olive garden they also have jones fabric dollar tree they have coals they have chilies they have big the store they have much OMG Home Goods it's the most like I don't know how to explain my addiction to home goods I mean I don't even know I don't buy sometimes anything I just go there and start looking to stuff <laughs> I guess it was like a good place to have therapy <laughs> just looking at random stuff it's so fascinating anyways that's my little rant and then on the right side I don't think you can see it it's Publix with shopping is not a pleasure. No, I'm kidding. It's the, the, the logo is Publix with shopping is a pleasure, but I like to play around and say, no, it's not a pleasure. <laughs> um, this next road that is coming, it's Peter's Road. Um, again, if you take it, you know what? I don't know where it ends. That would be another good video just to explore and drive around and see where it ends. I mean, I know if I make a ride, I will arrive uh, by Pan Island Road, and I can also make a ride and you know go away, go all the way to uh, Sogras Mill Mall, or keep going all the way south, which would be Miami, Hollywood, and all those places. But that would be another good radio to do. As you can see, traffic is building up because it's one for the Oh, it's, it's kind of early, but yeah, no, this this like I say, University Drive is always congested. That's one. That's what it is known for. Uh, there's huge and major accidents in this. Um, not no joke it's it's insane if we would take this little ramp over here that i guess i just missed it we would have, like um merge into 595 you guys know 595 you go west you go to Sogos memo you can you can take um i-75 or you can take alligator Alley to go to fort myers etc if you go east we're gonna end up in fort lord international airport and also the beach for Lord the beach um downtown fort lord And then this is also the exiting from 595 and this is the university uh what's it called the exit from 595 university usually we get out on what's it called oh no i never, never got out from 595 yeah because i usually take 95 a trump bike and commercial but you know show you in the video but never got out on university and on a video so that that's another topic that's another video i guess <laughs> Uh, but yes, I am. After this, I am definitely going to the Marshalls and Home Goods. I, I I need to explore that. We are almost arriving to the plaza. And it gets very congested because it's the entrance to 595 and the exit to 595, and then it's a bunch of plazas with a lot of businesses, commercial areas, that, that's why it makes it so congested. Um, they have to have a lot of patience if you're coming this way, just so you know, ahead of time. But yeah, this 
it's i seen a lot of tourists coming this in that in the other plaza on the right is whole foods bed bed and beyond hobby lobby um, a couple stores more so yeah yeah i seen a lot of tourists here because and also nova southeastern university it's ahead a couple miles ahead of us where there's a lot of international students um so this is a resident like a student residential area so yeah you see a lot of touristy area a lot of students um, yeah that's about it so this plaza i think is the tower something jesus why can i remember this plaza so we have home Dito, home depot best buy tj maxx tj maxx ross old navy dsw warehouse of shoes office depot oh party city is here trade is joe michael's discovery some clothing random stuff and then planet fitness and also we have a gas station we have a bunch of restaurants like taco bell fleming flanagan's we have twin peaks and then something there's a couple too I'm reconsidering going to this plaza now that I see there's a Marshalls and a Home Goods next to each other. Like, do I need to come here? Let's check TJ Maxx, Ross. I don't know how easy it just changed my mind. I'm like, I don't need to come here. I'd rather go to home. I mean, home goods and marshals. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's about it. This is the plaza. Just, what happened with the name? Like, did they remove the name? Because the, the name used to be around here. And so I can check what, something what, like the Towers of Davy something. That's what, that's what the plaza used to be. Why are you chopping the little flowers? That's not nice. So yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching my videos. If anybody's watching, um, if you can please share, subscribe and like. That can help me a lot. My goal is to reach uh, 60 subscribers so I can start doing live stream because I wanna like doing live streams. I mean, I would like to do more live streams from for a lot of the beach to you know bring you a vacation time while watching in your home from your TV or tablet or iPhone, whatever is where you're watching at. I do this is spitting, so I'm just gonna. You shouldn't be speeding, lady. This is a plaza. Okay, so have a nice day and I'll see you in my next video.